In this video, we will learn to simulate turbulent flow through 180 degree bend. We will create the geometry in NC space claim. We will mesh the geometry in fluent meshing mode and we will calculate the pressure drop from 180 degree elbow and validate our solution. The first task is to select a standard size elbow of 180 degree. Let us select a nominal pipe size of 3 inches in which the inside pipe diameter is 2.9 inch and center to center distance is 9 inch. The inlet velocity is 5 meter per second and the upstream length of the pipe and downstream length of the pipe is equal to 5 times of the diameter. These lengths are added to avoid the reverse flow at the bend inlet and outlet. It will also improve the convergence of the solution. Air is used as a working fluid. By knowing the pipe diameter and inlet velocity, we can calculate the Renault number which is equal to around 25,000. So we can say the flow is fully turbulent. Now we will create the geometry. Double click on fluid flow fluent with fluid meshing. Now double click on geometry. It will open NC space claim. First we will change the units. Go to file, space claim options, units from type, change metric to imperial. Now we will select the new sketch plane, click on this button and select XY plane. Then click on this button for plane view. Now we will draw a circle having 9 inch diameter. Select the circle, enter 9 inch. Then we will create a line. Then we will use this button trim away to trim half of the circle. Now we will click on the home button. Now we will click on this select new sketch plane and we will select this point at which we will create the pipe circle look at the plane by this plane view button select the circle having diameter of 2.9 inch then click on this end sketch editing button click on home button select this surface then click on this full button then click sweep button and then click on this line then click this up to button and select this that is the 5 times of the pipe diameter. Then click on this surface and drag this surface equal to 15 inch. Now we will specify the inlet and outlet. Click on this select button and select this surface. Go to groups tab, create name selection and rename it as inlet. Select this surface and create name selection as outlet. Now select these three surfaces which are the outer wall of the pipe. Now create name selection as pipe wall. Double click on mesh to mesh the geometry of 180 degree band. Click double precision and start. It will open ANSYS Fluent in the meshing mode. Now we will import the geometry. Click on import geometry. Then we will add local sizing. Click on update. Next we will generate the surface mesh by keeping the default settings. Next we will describe the geometry as our geometry is consist of only fluid regions we will select this option next we will update the boundaries confirm that the inlet is velocity inlet the outlet is pressure outlet the pipe wall is the wall of our domain as we have only created the fluid domain and it is mentioned by the ANSYS fluent next we will add boundary layers at the wall enter 20 number of layers and then click add boundary layers finally generate the volume mesh zoom in to view the mesh near the wall as we can see the near wall mesh is very fine click on switch to solution button it will open ANSYS fluent in the solution mode here we will set the boundary conditions and select the suitable mathematical model go to physics tab click on viscous here we can select the turbulence model by default k omega turbulence model is selected which is suitable for the turbulent flow so we will keep the default setting go to materials tab we can change material from this fluent database as air was used in our web problem as a working fluid so we will not change it then go to cell zones we have only one cell zone and it should have air as a working fluid click on this solid and then click edit confirm that this solid has a material name which is here then click on the boundaries select inlet edit enter 5 meter per second as the velocity at the inlet select outlet confirm that it is pressure outlet then click on 
pipe wall click edit at the wall we can change the roughness of the wall as we know that pipe roughness is increased due to corrosion or salt deposition zero roughness height means we are using smooth pipe the wall roughness height is denoted by epsilon which is called grain roughness height its value of epsilon changes with the material of the pipe for example for glass or plastic pipe the roughness epsilon is equal to zero it is maximum for concrete and for stainless steel it is around 0 0.002 millimeter so we can increase the roughness height which is the epsilon according to the actual pipe conditions and this roughness constant value 0.5 is set by default 0.5 value means that the sand grains are at the uniform distance from each other a value greater than this 0.5 means that the sand grains are not uniform so first we will keep this roughness height equal to zero that means we are using smooth walls then we will increase this value for the rough surfaces now go to solution tab click on residuals in the convergence criteria for the continuity change its value to 1 raised to power minus 6 these are the six equations that will be solved for this problem and this is the mathematical model for this particular problem now confirm that in the initialization tab method is hybrid and click on initialize enter number of iterations equal to 500 and then click calculate the calculation is complete and the solution is converged after 156 iterations now we will analyze some of the results and validate our solution Go to create a plane in the method select xy plane and click create. It will create a plane bisecting our domain from the middle. Now go to contours and select from the contours of pressure total pressure and select plane 3 that we have created then click on save display. At this point the fluid is entering the pipe and it is separated from the pipe at this point at this point the pressure is negative pressure this negative pressure is due to the flow separation from the surface of pipe next we will see at the velocity contour go to contour new select the variable from pressure to velocity and select this plane click on save display if we look at the velocity contour we can confirm that the flow is separating from the surface at this point that causes the higher velocities at this region due to smaller cross-sectional area now we will create the plane at the inlet of this 180 degree bend and outlet of 180 degree bend before doing that go to domain tab and click units in the quantities select length and set its unit inches now Go to result tab, click on create, select plane, rename this plane as upstream, define this plane by three points. Now enter these coordinates for point 0.1, point 0.2 and point 0.3 and tick this box bounded to create a plane at the upstream of the 180 degree pipe bend. Click on create. Now create another plane, rename this plane as downstream now change the coordinates of its point 1 2 and 3 according to these values and ensure that the checkbox along the bounded option is checked click on create to create the plane at the downstream end of the 180 degree elbow now go to reports select the surface integrals in the report type select area weighted of average and in the field variable select the total pressure and select the surface plane that we have created earlier upstream and then click compute the area vector pressure at the upstream surface is 22.38 now select the downstream plane and unselect the upstream plane compute the pressure it is 18.72
The difference between the upstream and downstream pressures is equal to 3.66 Pascal. Now we will validate our ANSYS result with our hand calculation. Pressure drop can be calculated by using this expression in which KL is the minor loss coefficient. The value of KL can be found by this table is taken from the engineering toolbox and it can be also found from any textbook. We were using a 180 degree long radius flange elbow and for that minor loss coefficient is equal to 0.2 so by hand calculation the pressure drop value is 3.06 pascal and ANSYS result was 3.66 which is pretty close so our solution is validated next we can increase the roughness of pipe according to the material selected for the pipe which will give us a higher value of pressure drop thank you for watching this video in my next videos i will present few more examples of minor losses and how to design the complete piping system